Hello and welcome to the transcription explanation of this design. It was done with Lauren Sherman's script, which uses a combination of dots and lines on these four different stems to make our consonants. Um, and vowels are smaller circles, which this is the only one in this design. And they have different positions depending upon what vowel they are and if they're attached on one of these four consonant stems. So A's are always on the outside of the word circles. E's, I's, and U's, uh, U's are all in the same position, which is on the line of the word circle. And O's are always on the inside of the word circle. And they're the only vowel that will be attached like a bead on a string um, on a consonant stem. So uh, this was done a bit different than normal Sherman's script. In normal Sherman's script, you uh, read uh, multiple letters on a whole word circle. So this would be an example of like a word circle, except this one just says A, B, A, J, A, T, A, T, H, A. Um, but in this design, I took each letter and made them their own sentence uh, word circle. So the whole word looks more like a sentence would um, instead of uh, this being multiple letters per word circle. Um, anyway, so uh, this would be our first letter slash word circle, and this is our second letter slash word circle, third, and then fourth. Um, and the vowels aren't counting for letters in this because vowels are things you attach to consonants whenever you can or when you want to, I guess. Um, but anyway, so one consonant stem, I guess I should say, per letter. Um, so anyway, here's our first word slash letter circle, and on it, there's this shallow divot shape here. So we're in this row, and there are one, two, three lines ending on it. So that would make it an S. And these lines, they can curve, they can be straight, whatever, it doesn't matter so long as they end on that consonant stem. So this is just the line from the S and is not actually a word here. This is just part of the S here. So unlike this, which is the letter T. So anyway, this is the letter S, and then we have this letter slash word circle. And there's a circle inside that word circle, well, letter circle, and there is four dots on it. One, two, three, four, making it a C. And then we have an O, like a bead on a string. And then we have one T here, shallow divot. So like this. So a T is anything that is 50% or less complete. So even though this is super shallow, it's still a T. Even when this one's a bit deeper, it's still a T. And here's the second T. So S, C, O, T, T. And I changed this a bit from the sketch because I saw that when this before passed through here, this C looked like a Q, like a, uh, like a circle on the line of the word circle on the T here. And I had this line out here matching this T. But anyway, um, I changed that so this would look not like a Q, but instead like a C and only could look like a C. Um, so yeah, because I try to keep things as legible as possible in my designs um, while still looking cool. Uh, and this last bit, this gray bit here, is where the sentence circle is, um, but there's no uh, punctuation in this design. Plus, you could put punctuation on this line, which also is like a sentence circle. Um, so, yeah, so long as there's no dots or anything like this on this outer line, you'll be fine. Um, and this gray bit is even completely optional, and you don't need it because there's no punctuation. So, yeah, that's uh, that's this design. I'm pretty proud of it. It's less typical, but I think it looks cool. And it's all symmetrical. Like this is the same size as this. This is the same size as this. And then it's all on one line. So yeah, it's, it's pretty nice. I'm pretty happy with it. So yeah, bye.